Kulapaka Sushila born November 13, 1935, is an Indian playback singer associated with the South Indian cinema for over six decades. She has been recognized by both the Guinness Book of World Records and the Asia Book of Records for singing most number of songs in Indian languages. She is also the recipient of five National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer and numerous state awards. Sushila is widely acclaimed as a singer who defined feminism in South Indian cinema and is well known for her mellifluous vocal performances for over 40,000 film songs across South Indian languages. The song, Paul Palave, from Tamil film Uyarnda Manidan brought her the first ever award at the 16th National Film Awards, by winning her the National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer, also making it the first Tamil film to win a national award under that category. She is fondly called Gana Kokila and Gana Saraswati. She is also considered as one of the rich voiced singers whose pronunciation of the syllables to be more clear and precise in any of the languages she sang. In a career spanning more than six decades, she has recorded nearly 40,000 songs in various Indian languages including Telugu, Tamil, Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, Bengali, Oriya, Sanskrit, Tulu and Badaga. She has also sung for Sinhalese films. Her mother tongue is Telugu. She can also speak Tamil, fluent Hindi, and a little Kannada. Personal life. Sushila was born in Andhra Pradesh, India, as the daughter of Pulapaka Mukunda Rao, a leading advocate in Visyanagaram, Visyanagaram district, Andhra Pradesh state. She is married to Dr. Mohan Rao, they have a son named Jayakrishna and two granddaughters named Jayashri and Shubashri. Her daughter-in-law, Sandhya Jayakrishna, is a singer who debuted with A.R. Rahman in Iravar. Education After completion of schooling, Sushila joined in Maharaja's Music College under the tutelage of Dwaram Venkataswami Naidu who was the principal, Visyanagaram, and completed diploma in music from Andhra University in first class at a very early age. P. Sushila went on to become one of the most successful playback singers of South India from 1950 to 1990. Topic Career Topic Debut, nineteen fifty to nineteen fifty four Born into a music loving family, Sushila had nurtured a formal classical music training at a very young age. She used to participate in all the musical competitions both at her school and the Visyanagaram town events. She developed the crucial nuances in singing songs with apt expressions and modulations through her extensive training during those days. She also sang few songs for the All India Radio Air for their private program telecasts. In 1950, music director Pendiala Nageshwara Rao was on the lookout for some fresh voices to sing for his new film compositions. He approached the Air to help him shortlist some of the finest singers who have performed for the radio. Air sent forward five singers of whom Sushila was selected after some thorough audition tests. She was immediately signed on for the Tamil film Petra Thai for a duet song, Edhuku Azaithai, with A. M. Raja. This was subsequently made in Telugu as Kanna Tali for which she recorded the same duet with Gandasala. This resulted in her long-term employment with AVM Studios singing for their productions alone with a fixed monthly salary. The studio owner A. V. Mayapan hired a Tamil trainer for Sushila to hone her Tamil pronunciation skills. Thus Sushila began her illustrious career gaining abundant knowledge about music and language. She debuted into Kannada language with the film Madaidano Maraya in 1954. Topic. Breakthrough, 1955-1960 It was not easy for a newcomer to foray into the musical scene in the 1950s with the domination of eminent female vocalists like P. Leela, M. L. Vasanthakumari, Jiki among others ruling the playback industry. Yet, Sushila made her own mark with her distinct and clear vocals. 
The year 1955 saw Sushila raising to popularity with her back-to-back -back hit songs both in Tamil and Telugu film industries. Misama released in 1955 had hugely popular songs backed with strong Carnatic classical essence. Sushila created a huge impact among the listeners with her effortless renditions of the toughest notations. The same year released Tamil film Kanavane Khan Kandadevam made her a household name in Tamil Nadu, thus began a huge legacy of Sushila, who sang in almost all the films produced since 1955 through 1960s and 1970s till 1985. The legendary Tamil musicians Viswanathan, Ramamurthy duo wrote some of the most evergreen songs of cinema history in the voice of Sushila. Her duets with the acclaimed singers Gandasala in Telugu, T. M. Soundararajan in Tamil and P. B. Srinivas in Kannada marked a new era of duet songs in the South Indian music industry. She, along with T. M. Soundararajan went on to record more than hundreds of songs with Viswanathan, Ramamurthy. Sushila's blockbuster Kannada song, Varaha Novu Noru Taraha, for the film Edakalu Gutted Amili is listed as one of the top ten evergreen songs in Indian cinema. Her combination with actress Jayanti is very popular in Karnataka. Topic: <laughs> Successful domination, 1960 to 1985. The early 1960s saw Sushila grow as an undisputed lead female singer across all the South Indian language films, putting all the older veteran singers to the background. The year 1960 saw Sushila entering the Malayalam films with the V. Dakshinamurthy compositions for the film Sita. From then, she went on to record numerous hit songs with all the Malayalam composers like G. Devrajan, M. K. Arjunan among others. She recorded many Malayalam duets with the veteran singer K. J. Yasudas. Her association with M. S. Viswanathan continued even after M. S. V. split up with Ramamurthy in 1965 and under M. S. V. her duets with T. M. Soundarajan and others and her solo songs were too popular with audience and made her first choice singer for every other music composer and film producer from 1960 to 1985. MSV's composition fetched her the very first National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer in 1969 for her prolific rendition of Nalai Intha Veli Parthu for the Tamil film Uyarnda Manitan. The same song got her the Tamil Nadu State Award as well. Thereby, Sushila became one of the first recipients of the most dignified national awards in India. It was during these years the Nightingale of India, Lata Mangeshkar developed a strong friendship with Sushila and praised all her works frequently. M. S. Viswanathan is regarded by her as her mentor and in his music direction she has maximum popular hit songs from 1955 to 1995. The 1970s also saw Sushila in her prime form winning almost all the awards both nationally and in all the four states of southern India. She also recorded even Hindi songs during this period with music directors like K. V. Madhavan, Laksamkant Piarelal, L. Vaidya Nathan and Laksmi Kiran, S. L. Manohar, Ajit Merchant, G. Devrajan and S. N. Tripathi. It was in this era that she sang few notable songs for another prolific Indian music director Ilairaja. Though Janaki took a leading position from 1980 with her strong association with MSV and Ilairaja, Sushila continued to be at the top till 1985 and after 1985 was still opted by several music directors for her legendary vocals. After 1986, she became selective about film songs and continued to have hit film songs till 2005. Topic. Shift to non-films, 1985–2000s With S. Janaki and Vani Jayaram taking over the Southern Film Songs center stage from 1985 and K. S. Chitra beginning her career, Sushila slowly shifted her focus from films to devotionals and light music. But she continued to get to sing melodious film songs from 1984 to 1999 though she had after 1985 cut down on offers for singing in films. She even won awards for songs in Telugu films, Vishwanathanayakudu in 1987, Godavari Pongindi in 1989 and Tamil film Varam in 1989. She sang duets with Kishore Kumar in 1986 for the film Singhazan, Chalta Hai Du Dilan Ka Kays Sansar, and Tere Liye Main Janam, which became popular. 
She also concentrated more on stage shows across the globe where many associations worldwide invited her to perform for their organized shows. She recorded more than 1,000 devotional songs for various audio companies. In 1988, acclaimed music composer Naushad insisted her to sing Janaki John for his Malayalam film Dwani. She also recorded few of her career best songs for Ilayraja, A. R. Rahman and others in the 1990s. Kanaku Mai Azhagu, from the film Pudia Mugam composed by Rahman was praised all over for its lyrical content and rendition. She had hit songs in Tamil till 2005 and sang many devotional and folk songs from 1986 to 2005 and did many live shows from 1990 to 2005. P. Sushila Trust, 2008–present The P. Sushila Trust, formed in 2008, has a monthly pension payment scheme and a few musicians in need are being benefited through it. On every 13 November there would be a musical concert during which a senior artist chosen by a panel is conferred with the Lifetime Achievement Awards and the P. Sushila Trust Award. The proceedings of the concert would go towards the trust maintenance. The Lifetime Achievement Award so far has been conferred upon T. M. Soundararajan and P. B. Srinivas. The recipients of the trust's awards so far are S. Janaki, Vani Jiram, L. R. Aswari, P. Jayachandran, S. P. Balasubramaniam, and K. J. Yasudas. Statistics <laughs> 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 The Asia Book of Records has accepted that Sushila has sung 12,300 songs. Totally Sushila has recorded more than 40,000 songs. Telugu Sushila has sung more than 12,000 songs in Telugu. S. P. Balasubramanyam's first duet in Telugu was P. Sushil's. SPB sang his first song with me says the legendary P. Sushila. Tamil She has sung more than 6,000 songs in Tamil, including devotionals. She has sung around 1,000 duets with T. M. Soundara Rajan. She also rendered more than 1,500 songs in MSV music. Kannada Sushila has recorded more than 5,000 songs in Kannada. She has performed numerous duets with Gantasala and P. B. Srinivas, and also a few duets with legendary actor and singer Rajkumar. Her duets with P. B. Srinivas are considered some of the evergreen songs of Kannada film industry. S. P. Balasubramaniam's first Kannada song Kanasido Nanasido from Nakher Aid Swarga was a duet with Sushila. Malayalam She has sung more than 4,000 songs in Malayalam. The musician Devarajan gave her more than 300 songs in all languages. Other languages Sushila has sung more than 300 songs in other languages, including 100 film songs in Hindi, 120 devotional songs in Sanskrit, and 9 film songs in Sinhalese. She also sang in Bengali. Punjabi, Tulu, Baduga and Oriya songs. <laughs> Awards P. Sushila was honoured with the Padma Bhushan, the third highest civilian award by the Indian government in 2008. Sushila honoured by Kannada people with the title Gana Saraswati in 2004 at Bengaluru for her outstanding contribution to Kannada cinema. <laughs> <laughs> National awards She was the first recipient of the National Award for Female Playback Singing in 1969. 1969 Uyarntha Manathan Paul Pallave Vaan Midhail Inta Veli Parthu Tamil 1971 Saval Somali Chittak Karuvakena Katapadu Tamil 
1978 Siri Siri Muva Jumandi Nadam Sayandi Padam Telugu 1982 Mega Sandesam Priya Charishele Telugu 1983 MLA Adu Kondalu Yentha Pithavad Gopaludu Venugopaludu Telugu Topic: Filmfare Awards South. Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award South 2006. Topic: State Awards. Topic: See also. Kamban Pugaj. Award from All Salon Kamban Kazhakam, Sri Lanka, 2016 Ragupathi Venkaya Award Best Singer of the Decade Award from Dr. Subarami Reddy in 2001 Discography Mayabazar Missima 